Hey guys, welcome back to LoFi Startup. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I built an AI bedtime story app with nothing else but retool workflows, Stripe and OpenAI. This LoFi stack is super useful to build and ship your own proof of concepts and MVPs super fast from idea to revenue within one day. So yeah, let's get into it. Cool, so firstly, I'm gonna show you guys a project walkthrough, and then from there, we'll look at each little endpoint that I built to power the backend and bring everything together. The project's called Twinkle Tales. You can find it at twinkletales.fun. And basically, it's a super simple app where you can basically choose a bedtime story theme from a drop-down menu. You can go ahead and enter the hero of the story, so like the child's name and then the email address to deliver the story. You click create story, brings up a Stripe payment checkout session. And once you complete the payment, we start to generate the story on the back end and send it to your inbox. You get an email when the story is generating and then you get another email when the story is ready. And I simply just attach that as a MP3 file. Super simple, nothing too fancy. Cool, so that's the project rundown. Now I'm gonna show you the two back end workflows that basically bring the whole thing together. So the first one is the workflow that captures all the information from the form on the front end and puts that into the DB and creates a Stripe checkout session for the user. Once the user has entered all the information, we then make a request from the front end to the retool workflow and we pass in all of the JSON uh, that we need into the request body. That JSON body comes into the workflow. We then hit the Stripe API to create a new checkout session. We then basically create a DB record with all of that information, including the user's email, the theme, the hero, and then we take that Stripe checkout session uh, that we get from their API, that particular ID, and we also store that in the DB. And that record basically looks like this. Okay, from there, we basically just return in the response of this webhook, the Stripe checkout session URL. And what we do then is on the front end, in our response handler, we basically take that checkout URL and then just direct the user to that URL so the user can complete their payment. Then after a successful payment, what you'll see here is with Stripe, you can enter the success URL. So basically after the user completes a successful payment, you can send them to a particular URL and that just looks like this, success. Okay, so that's how we set up everything, get the data in the DB and get the Stripe checkout URL for the user. Next up, we're gonna look at what happens when the user completes their payment and how we actually get that story into their inbox. Okay, so how that's done is you need to set up a webhook event on Stripe. And what you need to do is basically grab the endpoint URL from your retool workflow and stick that into the Stripe webhook creator. And then what you'll need to do is select the exact events that you wanna to listen to. So in this case, we basically just wanna check whether the user has successfully completed a payment or not. So for that event, we'll just go ahead and select checkout and we'll select this checkout session completed event. Then you go ahead and add that event, create the endpoint and you're basically good to go. So now we set up another workflow on Retool, which basically listens for incoming webhooks uh, for when people complete their payments. So what it's gonna do is, when Stripe detects a successful payment, it's gonna go ahead and send this JSON to this webhook. And from there, what we can do is basically set the payment status of the DB record to completed payment true. And how we do that is we basically just grab the DB record where the Stripe ID equals the one that's coming through from the webhook JSON object. And then what you'll see here is we match that up to the Stripe ID here and basically just set that Boolean to completed payment true. After we've done that, we know the user's completed their payment. Next up, what we do is we just go ahead and fetch all that information that the user inputted in the first place. And we go ahead and send them an email to basically say, hey, listen, we're about to generate your story. Just wait up to 10 minutes before we do so. Then what we do is we go and pass in all the information that the user are submitted into OpenAI. And I just made this really basic prompt, which is just like write a children's story about X theme and Y should be the name of the hero in the story. Those values are just dynamically being set into the prompt over here from the data that we're getting back from just that little DB call here where we're getting the user. Right, next up, we're getting the response from OpenAI, which is just a text response as a story. And we're taking that text and we're hitting the OpenAI audio speech API. And we're basically turning 
turning that text into audio because the whole idea here is I'm making short audiobooks, not just basic sort of like here's a bunch of text rather like here's the audiobook. So yeah, I go basically submit the input as the story text. I've just set like a default model and a voice over here. It takes a few minutes that comes back, get that base64 audio output and rename the file. And then I just basically add that file to the audio attachment, shoot that over in an email. And then finally in the DB record, I just basically set send story to true so that I know that these two API requests actually happen successfully. And then yeah, basically just also populate the story output text into the DB as well. So what you'll see here is send story is true. And then I just keep a record of all the different stories that I get back from OpenAI just because it's quite fun to read some of them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Two simple processes, capturing the payment and generating and sending the bedtime story, all using retool workflows as my backend. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and like if you would like more of this content. And yeah, I'll see you guys in future videos. Lots of exciting stuff coming up. More startup engineering hacks, culture hacks, growth hacks, lots more. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you.